College Gym Vids fan going live on YouTube. This video is called My Autism Story. I mean, I really have not been diagnosed with autism. But I have a lot of red flags and signs of autism. But my mom never thought that that I would have autism because, I mean, she brought me to a lot of doctors when I was younger and they talked about different disabilities like developmentally delayed, mild retardation, and those are things that I was actually diagnosed with but you know part of my autism story begins when I was three years old because when I was three years old so that would have been in the early 1980s because I was born June 28, 1978, and so probably it would have been 1981 that uh, my mom noticed that when people talked to me that a lot of times I did not make eye contact. Well, to interrupt my story, I am using the Mozilla Firefox browser on uh, my Amazon Fire Stick. And I mean, I'm Google searching Chuck E. Cheese autism like images since this is my autism story video and I have been to uh, sensory sensitive Sundays at Chuck E. Cheese but now back to my story then when two years later in uh, 1983, when I was five, my mom started noticing another symptom of autism in me, another red flag of autism. She started uh, noticing that I could not read people's body language and and I had trouble with emotions on people's faces. She noticed that when I was five. So, uh, like, uh,
So, like, if somebody had, like, a, a sad expression on their face, maybe I would say something happy or something, or it just would not match the expression. Or like, uh, if, you know, my mom was telling me, you know, you have to move, you know, out of the way because they're opening the door or something, something like that. I wouldn't know to move or something like that. And of course, part of my autism story is when I was in the 11th grade and I was in American history class, my American history teacher, Melissa, started noticing that when she talked to me that I would not have eye contact with her. And one time when she was, you know, saying in class about a test and giving other information and, and I wasn't having eye contact with her, she she asked me the question are you listening to me and you know and then another day when i didn't have eye contact with her and she was talking to me uh she said how come i don't have eye contact when you talked when she talked to me how come I didn't make eye contact with her and the whole class was listening and a lot of the class was laughing and I said, I don't know. That was my answer to her. That was my reply to her because I, I never actually thought that it would be autism. And at that time, I never really saw any other red flags of autism. You know, and I never actually thought that I had sensory issues to certain types of noise until a couple years ago in uh, 2013 when I went to a day program and this boy, every day, he was always making noises around me and it bothered me. And I would have meltdowns at the day program and cry and yell. I mean, I guess, I guess hearing myself cry or yell, I guess I'm not sensitive to that because it's like my own voice, you know.
But, you know, probably, uh, probably the sensory issues that I was having. I think I have a lot of sensory issues to a lot of noises, but when people make noises around me, it bothers me. Like uh, last year in 2018, when I was at my grandfather's nursing home, this lady started screaming and making loud noises, and it bothered me, and my mom. You know, it was like, let's get out of here, because she probably thought I'd have a meltdown or fit or something. And so we left the nursing home that day. And sometimes I could go to the nursing home and not be overwhelmed. And part of my autism story continues... Uh, when, when I was, uh, on the, the trip to Carib, in Orange Beach, Alabama, Because, like, on that trip, my sister-in-law, Brenda, her friend, Kelly Faraci, after the trip was over, she said something to Brenda. Because she thought I had Asperger's, the mild form of autism. But actually, if I were diagnosed today, I probably wouldn't be diagnosed with Asperger's because they removed that as a diagnosis in 2013. But, you know, she didn't want to say anything to my mom because she didn't want to hurt my mom's feelings. And so she said something to Brenda, and I guess she thought Brenda wouldn't be hurt by it, you know. And, you know, Brenda just, you know, wanted, was wondering if something like this could happen to, you know, her kids or something, you know. And, uh, and most of the symptoms when, you know, Brenda said something to my mom, 
most of the symptoms, when she looked it up online, she thought it was so me, you know? Basically, the only thing that didn't fit me is that, like, people with Asperger's, they have trouble maintaining friendships. But I did look it up, and there are three levels of autism. There's like a level one, a level two, and a level three. So maybe I wouldn't just be diagnosed with autism, but I would probably be diagnosed with sensory processing disorder. I'm going to Google search levels of autism. There go, levels of autism. Let's see. Uh, go to images for levels of autism. Okay. Let's see. Now here's an image of the three levels of autism. So ASD, level one, requiring support. Difficulty... Something about social interactions. I can't read it good. ASD level 2 requiring substantial support. And then ASD level 3 requiring very substantial support.
Maybe this one's more clear. Okay, let's see. Level one, ASD. Uh, requiring support, inflexibility, poor organization and planning, some difficulty switching between activities, poor social skills and interaction. Level two, requiring substantial support, marked difficulties in verbal, nonverbal communication, restricted repetitive behaviors, noticeable differences, difficulties in changing activities or focus. Level three, requiring very substantial support. Severe, di severe difficulties in verbal, nonverbal communication. Very limited speech. Odd repetitive behavior. Many express basic needs only. So I don't believe I'm a level three. If I was diagnosed on autism spectrum, I'd probably either be a level one or a level two. Because I do have restricted repetitive behaviors. So, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm a, a level one or a level, level two, but I don't believe I would be a level three. Hit the big red button and subscribe. Peace out, YouTube.